I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to explore stem and leaf plots. Test scores of 25 students is given below. So these are the test scores of 25 students. It's a raw data. They are not arranged in any order. Based on these scores, you need to answer these questions. First one here, A. Display the data in a stem and leaf plot. B. Find the range of data. C. What is the mode of data? D. What is the median test score? What percent of students scored more than 90%? That is E. And F is explain why histogram is not a good choice for this data. Okay, so let's begin by creating a stem and leaf plot. Now, before getting in there, what we need to do is understand the data itself, that is the test scores. You will find that all the test scores are in two digits, that is 65, 76, something like this, ones and tens place. So when you create stem and leaf plot, we need two columns here. The first one will be the stem, right? So we'll write stem here. So we have stem. And the other one is the leaf. Now, in the stem, we'll write the tens. And in the leaf, always we write ones, right? So that is how we are going to do it. But before we begin, it will be a good idea to answer part B, which is find the range of data. Okay, you'll in a minute understand why we are answering part B first. Now, what is range? Range is maximum minus minimum, right? So range is maximum minus minimum right that is range so from this data identify what score is maximum and what is minimum so if you go through this you can see that 61 is the minimum right and as far as maximum is concerned in 90s we have 98 so 98 is maximum and therefore the range of this data is from 98 to 61 i mean 61 to 98 and the difference is we'll do 98 minus 61 and that gives us 37 so the range is 37 for us now you have also seen that the numbers actually start from 61 end at 98. So, in the stem part, what do you expect? In the stem part, we expect 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, right? So, we can write down 6, 7, 8, and 9 to begin with. You get an idea. So, that's why we went to part B first. Now, we'll read the numbers and write down their counterparts on the leaf part, right? So let's begin from the very first one, 65. At times, you may have to make two stem and leaf plots to arrange this column of leaf because, you know, this is raw data. We don't know 65 is the lowest or highest or in between. So to be on safe side, I'll put this 5 somewhere here, right? So I'm keeping room for numbers which are lower than 5, okay? 76, at least trying to. Okay, 76. So 6 is kind of a number in the middle. I'm writing 6 here. And then, so we'll just go 82. So 82, 2 could come here. Okay, 87. 7 is a big number. 80. So let's just squeeze it in here. 61. Okay, 61. 94. 94. Let me write 4 here. Okay. 95. So 95. 77, so 7 and 7, okay. 98, 98. 70, 70. 63, so so here, so we have already crossing the limit. 7, 
76 76 so another six here okay 69 let me put it there 74 before six now 78 78 76 76 okay 84 84 61 so here 61 75 so we'll squeeze it in here 75 okay 90 81 68 68 77 77 79 79 right so we know these are all units right so these are all ones so we kind of got them in order so we don't have to really arrange them in order that is very important right so we have 61 61 63 65 69 so likewise we have now created a leaf graph if you redo this you can write them slightly better okay okay anyway you can do it right so i'm not going to waste my time on that for the time being i'll work with this data what is the mode of data to find the mode let's look into ones which one has come most number of time in a particular row so you can clearly see that we have 76 three times right so these three are three times and therefore we can say that the mode is most frequent that is 76 right so mode is 76 for us what is the median test score median is the middle number when there are 25 students the number in the center will be which one 13th number right so so the median is the 13th number so we'll write the 13th number which is which one one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 78, right? So 78 is the 13th number. So if you arrange them in increasing order, which it is automatically arranged, you can count and find median, right? Now the question is, what percent of students scored more than 90%? Okay, so we have in all 25 students, out of which how many scored more than 25 more than 90 percent so more than 90 percent will not include this this is equal to 90 right so we'll only include these three numbers 94 95 and 98 to find the percent score this is three out of how many it is three out of 25 and then we are going to multiply by 100 right so that becomes 12 percent right so the answer for this is 12 percent you see how easily we could find all this information from stem and leaf plot. Now the question is, explain why histogram is not a good choice for this data. Well, if you create a histogram, you'll get bars connected, but you lose the vital information of what the numbers are. So you cannot answer any of these questions with the help of histogram. So I hope you appreciate how important it is to create a stem and leaf graph and it just preserves the actual information in an order so that you can do easy analysis of your data. So that's a huge advantage of stem and leaf plots. I hope that helps you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.